Hello and welcome to episode 13 of my survival let's play series. I hope you enjoyed the last episode where we built this uh, spider spawner. And in the meantime I have done a little bit of work finishing the uh, water elevators up to the surface. Uh, made a little building here. Um, I think it needs something to make it a little bit more uh, spidery. I'm thinking maybe some, some cobwebs or something. Um, but unfortunately I don't have a silk touch. Uh, shovel yet so that's making life a little bit difficult so i'm still trying on that enchanting table um and so yeah i think we need to get some villager trading or something happening so i have a little bit more control over what enchants that, that we're getting um so on that note i think it is finally time to start working with some villagers so the plan is up here a little way to build a villager breeder um, and so i'm going to put it here because i'm planning to have I guess kind of like a custom village on the other side of the hill um, and hopefully this will be far enough away that it's not going to be sort of interfering with things that are going on over there and eventually maybe an iron farm sort of way over there somewhere as well so um, I thought this might be a good spot um, so before we start on that however um, I have one thing that's missing and that is some food to feed the villagers to breed them up um, and I think the main food that I tend to use for that are potatoes or carrots and so I think I might go with potatoes because I haven't really uh, done much of that um, so far um, so yeah and I think if you remember way back to episode uh, two was it where we did all that exploration we did actually find some potatoes uh, in the villages that we were sort of passing through um, that we harvested so somewhere here we have a glorious stack of potatoes and I might just leave a couple there in case I need to come back to them or maybe just one uh, so let's grab these 12 and head off to uh, a side of my base we haven't seen very much which is still uh, very much a, a work in progress so you can see here I've got my uh, spruce tree farm which is all very uh, manual and then up over here I still have um, I guess a pumpkin farm uh, which I guess now we can remove at some point um you know, some wheat that i've been using to breed up um the sheep for wool that i need uh and this sugar cane that can definitely go because uh, there's not really much point to it so let's get rid of all the sugar cane uh, now that we've got the uh, sugar cane uh, farm and in its place let's start um farming some potatoes so i've got a uh stone hoe uh, so I can just sort of come in here and make a little bit of farmland and we won't need much to begin with um, because we've only got 12 potatoes I'm going to get them started and I'll just keep checking in on this and sort of expanding it so we have a plentiful supply to start breeding villages up hopefully by the time we've finished our um, villager breeder build so I'll go and gather some resources as I usually do and we'll head back over to the site where we're going to be building it and we'll, we'll look at how we go about crafting it. So after much collecting we have a double chest full of materials. Um, we have just some basic blocks, andesite, uh, stone bricks um, and the like uh, for the outer shell, um, some oak planks uh, and spruce. Uh, for that similar kind of build style that we've been using sort of around the place. Uh, we've also got a little bit of redstone, um, which we'll be using for sort of catching potatoes that don't get um, picked up by the villagers and feeding them back in the top. Um, and also a little bit of dirt and uh, jack-o'-lanterns and the like for um, doing a bit of terraforming at the end. Uh, so I probably don't have everything here, but it's enough to um, have most of the materials we need to get, get on with it. Um, so given I've done a few of these um, sort of builds before, I think what I'll do is I'll do a time lapse for the shell um, and then we'll look at the actual specifics of hooking it all together um, after that. So um, sit back and enjoy and we'll get this thing underway.
so there we have our shell of our villager breeder. Um, so the design I'm going to use is loosely based off um, a video I saw by Impulse SV, uh, which I think was based on a design by Rayworks. Um, so I'm going to have sort of the villagers standing in this area here on a uh, fence post with some beds around, and the baby villagers will sort of drop down there. And then to feed them, I'm going to manually put those potatoes in, but I don't want any to sort of drop through and be wasted. So I'm also going to sort of catch any that get dropped through uh, and then recycle them up here through sort of a water elevator and then put them back in the top and we'll have to have sort of a way of putting the um, potatoes in as well um, so that's the plan um, I think first things first we should probably get this area done so I'll grab a few uh, materials and then we'll have a go at starting to flesh this out a bit so I think the fence post goes down uh, at the level, at the lower level here in the middle like so. And then the beds will then need to go above that level in sort of this semicircle, which may be a little bit challenging. How am I going to do this? How does this go forward again? Uh, like that. Hmm. Uh, ha. Cool. Uh, so we'll just go like that and we'll check this out and that's looking good excellent uh, so now we'll need some uh, trapdoors uh, so yeah here we go spruce once again uh, just to sort of match the palette and these hopefully can kind of yeah, it's looking good. And nope. Yeah, directional placement is tricky. Uh, but we're nearly there. Let's actually come at this at an angle. There we go. Uh, so the idea is that the villagers will be in the center area, um, and then they will. Uh, sleep and the only valid space when they wake up out of bed is back on the fence post so they'll sort of um, jump out into bed and then back onto the fence post and that's where they'll sit uh, when they breed a new baby villager the little baby will fall past the fence post into the area below um, which should be good so we just need to finish off uh, this chamber a little bit uh, so we'll grab some more oak and start to build this up a little bit um, yeah, so I might go ahead and just sort of fill this in and then create a place for the water stream to go along. And we also need to uh, create a roof in here of glass just to um, stop anything from coming in, uh, which is good, except I need to have one there so the water, yeah, the water stream will come to here and then drop the potatoes in. Uh, which means we need um, some more blocks. So I might go grab some more blocks and see how we go. That was handy. I thought I'd stuck there for a minute. Uh, so what do I need? I need some more work. It's um, good. And that'll probably do for now. Um, we may have to come in this way though. So my plan is to actually access sort of the villages when they come down from this tunnel that's coming off the uh, cave that went down to our mob farm. Uh, so we can sort of come in and down here and actually look at the baby villages that have come through and then send them off along rails to, to different parts of the base depending on where we want them. Um, so this is what it's looking like under here. Um, so they will drop down there and I'm actually going to start to fill this in. So the only place they can come down is... Uh, directly through this little hole here. Oops, too far. Yeah, it's looking good. Uh, whereas in here, this is where the water stream will be sort of sending everything back up. We might just temporarily use some scaffolding to get back up here and kind of fill things in a bit. So I think we're definitely going to want this all filled in. 
So, uh, and then that. So I'm just kind of creating a shape in here out of glass, so you'll be able to see this water stream coming up. It should look pretty cool. Um, and you can see now we're starting to get uh, this chamber kind of finished off. Um, might go like that. So a few items kind of go through there. Um, yeah, it's looking good, which means they're going to need to come up here. So, yeah, and I'm out of glass, of course I am. Um, oops, so my camera account's left. That's, uh, I headed out this way before, it kind of worked quite well, didn't it? Yeah, that's really neat. Um, let's get a little bit more glass. And I'm probably going to want to start filling this up with water. At some point, um, go okay, that way. Can drop down here anyway. and try and figure this out. Um, so for now, okay, this is the where the water elevator is going to be. I need to move this torch like so, and put that scaffolding back in. Uh, so we can just finish off this bit of glass here, uh, like there, and oops, on there, it's placed. Okay, so yeah, the water will sort of come up here and then run along and drop things in there, which should be good. Um, so we should be able to come back down here. And the next thing to do is to actually figure out how far down we're going to drop these villages um, and we then need to sort of put a little sorting system in so that it will sort of the babies will sit there until they're old enough to then come across into a chamber where things seem to come out uh, and i'd better go sleep um so yeah I'll, I'll do a bit more figuring out exactly where things will go here and then we'll be back all right so this is all manner of challenging um but i think i'm getting there um so this is where the villages are going to drop down and then sort of get pushed forward and moved into a sort of sorting area. Um, and then the any leftover potatoes that drop down will get sent across and then back up this water stream here. Um, so to kind of start to work on the frame for this, because I think that helps a lot. Um, I'm gonna start with an andesite block there. Um, and then just create that lip that I've been doing on the um, storage uh, with the uh, andesite stairs, which I think looks good. Um, assuming I can actually get in there to make it work. Yes. Uh, we got one, two, three, maybe one more, and then like this. And a block. How's that gonna go? So look all right. Yeah. Um, so, what do we need to do here? I guess finish this coming down uh, with the oak planks. So the reason why I've sort of, I'm trying to make this as short as possible so we're not coming too deep here because if we come through we're sort of getting close to the ocean level, um, which is why I'm kind of sort of I can't go any higher with the roof here because that's the soil of the um, land above um, so I'm just trying to keep the make the most of this vertical space by having that step up there um, yeah so let's let's keep going let's bring this down like so uh, this wall will definitely need to be in here not sure exactly at what level we're going to have everything just yet, but let's get some things in place that we definitely are going to need. Um, so these will drop down and need to land on a hopper. And the hopper is going to need to be... A, mm, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five. 
Um, so this will look like, yes, yeah, so we'll put a floor in here and I've run out of oak. I'll be back with oak. All right, that's a little bit better. Um, so yeah, they'll drop down here onto um, some hoppers and the hopper line is going to need to go through this wall. Uh, if I can create a path uh, over here until we're directly here where we'll need a, a hopper or a dropper. Um, so for now, let's just put that in there uh, and then make a temporary block. Uh, we might just put some put it underneath and set up that hopper line like so. So one hopper going into the rest. So what will happen here is if we throw too many potatoes in at once and they drop down, these hoppers will pick them up um, and send them this way and we'll put in a little um, item elevator here in a moment. Um, but in the meantime, uh, what we're going to do is create a little space here for the um, baby villagers to kind of drop off into. So I'm going to use a sign because it kind of hides the uh, droppers in behind and it's going to blend in with this oak wood. Uh, we can fill this gap there, uh, which is good. And I suppose we can also uh, fill this in a little bit. Um, but not necessarily up there. Okay, that, that, that looks good. Um, and then if we come in and put a little bit of glass here temporarily, I need glass. All right, I found the glass. Um, so I'll put this here uh, and we'll actually need one more there. Oops, there we can place that back in here. And now we're ready to put a little bit of water in behind here. And that is looking good. So what will happen is the baby villagers will drop down. They won't take fall damage because they're going to land in the water. And they'll get pushed down into this little uh, space down in here. Uh, where they'll sit until they grow up. Uh, which is great. And any potatoes that drop will get sent that way. And then um, if we come up. Once it, they grow into adults, they'll start. The, their head will go into the water and they'll swim up at which point we need to create a um, sort of an elevator um, to bring the adults up. So I'm going to put a sign here um, to stop this water. I believe we can put some wood in here because there's still enough space for the baby villagers to sort of drop down. So yeah, the adults will be pushed against this glass by the water stream they'll swim up into a water stream just here and what we'll do is uh, fill this up like so um, fill that in that's looking good put the rest of this glass in I think. and then if we put a water source there it'll flow back this way and sort of push them down uh, into the next area uh, which is great. So we can go ahead and fill this in a little bit. Um, so yeah, uh, like so, like so, and we can probably get some glass and start putting it up there as well, maybe. And we just need to stop the water from coming too far this way, and we'll do that by putting a sign here. Um, and so the water will just come to the edge of this lip, and then they'll push off. If we had it go all the way, they'll swim in the water and never drop down, uh, which is why I'm putting it there. And hopefully I can just scaffold up a little bit and get a bucket of water. Um, happily, the ocean's just here. Should make it pretty easy. And up we come, and if I just put it in there, perfect, so I'm good. Um, so then, yeah, the, the adult villagers will get pushed across here, drop down into this, and it's only a three drop, so I don't think they'll take any fall damage, uh, which is where they will sort of stand 
until we're ready to pick them up and take them places with a minecart. Um, yeah, so that's looking good. Now I believe we can do that with sort of a single block there, uh, which should be, and then we'll have a minecart that comes through and then back out here. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to uh, sleep and get a few more things, and we'll continue the build. Okay, um, so I'm not going to overthink this for now. Um, I think there's definitely things that could be done in terms of like having a button that will automatically pop out a minecart and sort of send it on its way. Uh, but to start with, I'm just going to go with a fairly basic sort of manual system um, because I don't think I'm going to be um, using it too often to start with. Um, so. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'll automate it when it starts driving me nuts, I suspect. Is that going to work? Maybe not. Maybe it's good here. Yeah, that looks good. Um, so we need a powered rail here. So we click the button, the rail goes on, which is good. Um, and we'll need some normal rail, kind of snakes past where the villagers will be. So as the minecart comes in here, hopefully it'll grab a villager. And then we'll continue uh, on, on our way. Um, we may need to do something about that in terms of... Um, having trap doors or something to kind of make sure they're on that side um, but we'll, we'll see how this goes for now okay so I've just finished dressing this a little bit um, in a similar style that we've used previously um, sort of mirroring the andesite stairs um, spruce fence posts I've kind of taken this on an angle because we're kind of running out of uh, cave uh, but I think actually kind of breaking the symmetry up makes it look quite good um, and that brings us over to this uh, water elevator here. And I've actually taken this dropper line back just to where it goes through the wall here because I want to have this start at a similar level to these other sort of uh, glass windows. So we're going to start looking in at this level going up, which is you want to have the hoppers sort of hidden out of view and the items just appearing and, and heading up. So to do that, uh, what we'll need to do is... Uh, start by placing our hopper exactly or dropper exactly where we want it uh, like this we'll put our hopper chain into the hopper and just continue that along which is great so now that will just feed all the way through uh, we can cover that up a little bit which is looking good so if we come down underneath now, uh, we can place the first line of this um, dropper system um, by placing a redstone repeater into this block and taking some redstone back Then having in the next line a comparator coming out of the dropper uh, into a repeater to boost the signal uh, and connecting that through and then finally just some redstone looping that all back around which is good and we'll want to cover that potentially in unless we may want to at some point we have to figure out a way of um, placing items into this system um, and feeding them into this hopper line so we'll uh, that may come in here or potentially here. I think it's unlikely we'll manage to get it in there somewhere. So, um, the, yes. Hmm. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that in a minute. But I think this is good to go at this point. So, if we uh, pop something in here, we should see them all popping out here, which is exactly what I want to see. Fantastic. So, a short time later, I've put a little bit more of the blocks around this. Um, so this is where that uh, dropper was dropping those items. We now have a, a complete elevator and a little sort of window that we can look in and hopefully see the items uh, floating up when they are in circulation. And I've also created a little space here where we can sort of add uh, oh, potatoes into the system, um, which is just sort of one hopper out for that chain that was running down and underneath. Um, so the next thing to do is to put in this water elevator. So we'll just make a quick uh, infinite water supply here, like so. 
and I'm just going to put this in manually. Um, you can sort of do this a little bit quicker with uh, seek help, um, but I don't really see the need given it's a pretty short uh, way up. I'm just holding this water in place with some signs temporarily, which I'll replace with uh, glass blocks uh, when we get this done. And there we have it. Is it supposed to do that? Um, is that good or bad? I can't tell. I feel like we probably want to have something, maybe like a spruce trapdoor here, that will... Yeah, that's better. That's looking good. Um, yeah, no, this is looking very good. So I think the next thing to do is to uh, cover this all in um, and make sure nothing can spawn up here. So I'm going to use some half slabs around here like so. I'm going to leave that trapdoor exposed here so we can place the villagers in when we're ready. Um, and then I guess we'll continue this along here like so. And I'm going to put a fence here. Uh, sorry, not a fence, that's a stair block. A stair block there, there and there. Um, this is starting to look good. So nothing's going to spawn on this lower level or these stair blocks, but it may spawn up on that higher level. And I'm just going to put in some smooth stone slabs just to keep that from being spawnable. And the reason I put those stair blocks in is it just gives a way up out of that. It's nice and easy. Um, yeah. Nearly done. So once this is all complete, I think that looks pretty good. Um, and I've, yeah, so I think the only place things could potentially spawn here would be here where I've put the carpet. Um, it might look a little dark from looking down on it, so I might come back and put a light source in on these corners or something, but I'll, I'll leave it for now. And let's just see what else we need to finish. Uh, down here, we definitely need, um, so this is pretty good. I think we might need to put a block in under here because these potatoes are going to come in through this water stream and they might just sort of come down through this gap and end up on the bed. So I think we'll put a glass block sort of in under it here before just closing out the window, uh, which is good. So there still should be plenty of space for the villagers to get in and out of those uh, beds if they need to. Um, and I'll have to fix that fence in a little while. Uh, but let's just head round. And there's also that um, entrance way that I had down below that needs to be uh, fixed up as well. Uh, so what do we have here? One. Oops, so we have a, a sign in the system. Um, and up it goes. So that's going to cycle around infinitely, which is not that helpful. Is there anything I can do about that? Possibly not. Oh, we'll, <laughs> maybe we'll just leave it in there just for fun. Um, it'll just cycle around every now and again. Um, all right, let's clean this water up, I guess. Um, and then I think we're ready to go get some villagers, uh, which should be super fun. Uh, so it'd be good to get out of the base. It's been like, I don't think I've left this area since I think I've been to get sand occasionally, um, over that way, whereas I've needed glass, but I did one or two big mines and then haven't kind of been out since. So we'll definitely get a boat and go find some villagers. Oops. I think I just heard that sign going around for the uh, second time. Okay, my final preparations have been made. We have a uh, rail that's going from the water level up on top just temporarily so we can sort of bring the villagers by boat, pop them in and send them up. And I'm ready to head off. And I'm going to see if I can't find a spruce village because I kind of look like the look of them. Um, I think I remember seeing a spruce forest over in this direction. So let's go see what we can find. And here we are. Hello. Now, I'm not very good at villager, but I guess I'll ask them if anyone would like to come and have a fantastic uh, stay at my base. Oh, let's see, here we go. Hmm. 
Oh, they would. Excellent. Uh, now, who's going to be the first to try it out? Come on. Mm, push. No. Push. Aha! Excellent. I might just yeah, close that so these other ones don't wander and are easy to find again. Oh no! Oh, of course you did. Well, how am I going to roll it if you're in it? Um, let's try very gently and try that again real quick. Okay, so, one, two. Are we in? I think so. Yes, much better. Alright, let us get out of here. So I picked these ones because there's a, um, it's downhill to the river. So it should be pretty easy to get into the water and head back to our base. So I haven't really taken in how my base is looking from the coast. So I think we've got a little bit more work to do. Um, but it's, it's coming along. This this area is looking kind of nice. The cliffs looking pretty good. Um, yeah, we definitely have to do a little bit more work along this beach here. Um, but if we come over here, the trick will be getting the villager into the actual uh, villager breeder. So let's head out. Oops, and see if we can't persuade this villager up on there. So that's good. Come on, up we come. Up, no, not that way, not that way. Where are you going? All right, so I'm going to break the boat and flick the lever. Let's see what happens. Uh, one, two. No! Why? Yes, yes! Success! Uh, working with villagers is fun. So how do we do? Hello. So now I'm going to open that up. Now the key here would be is to get him in there without me falling in. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Push. Push. Okay, new plan. Put a boat down. Get in the boat. Send the boat over here. And then when I break the boat, he should just fall in. No, no, no. Ah. Where are you going? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come in. A little bit. No. I think I've come on with something. No! No! Why? Why? <laughs> it was... Oh, it was a good plan. Uh, completely failed an execution though. Maybe a trapdoor? Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go in, go in, go in. Oh, so close. No. Success! Oh, I can't believe that finally worked. Alright, so let's close this temporarily uh, and go get another one. Hurrah! So there they are in place. Uh, the system should be ready to go. The next thing to do is to add potatoes to the system. Um, so, so far I've managed to farm up a stack and three quarters of potatoes. Uh, so let's come down here, open this up and load the potatoes into the system it's good close it down behold the potatoes making their way up and if we come all the way around hopefully if we're quick enough we'll see oh it's getting dark too so that'll be quick yeah this is good potatoes making their way up here potatoes coming down here and getting picked up by these villagers who are now sleeping but I think they're still picking them up even though they're sleeping which is fantastic so in the meantime I expanded my potato farming capabilities I've got the second farm on the go in addition to that original one um, and I've added about two more stacks of potatoes into the system uh, and then there was a bit of waiting so um, in the meantime I kind of oh hello traveling villager so we actually have some emeralds so that's actually useful um, but eventually, and you can see I actually worked on this cave while I was waiting, so I had quite a lot of time. 
Um, but we, we got there in the end, and now we have two uh, adult villages that have been bred up, ready to go. Um, so it turns out that this sorting system did not work as well. Apparently the uh, 1.14 kids aren't like the kids of old. They run around and um, jump, can, can jump up there. So if you have any tips on how to fix this sort of sorting system, let me know. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. I can just let them grow up there, uh, which is great. Um, so, yep, villager breeding success. And yeah, I just kind of made this sort of look similar to some of the other caves. Um, I've added this rail system so when we pick up the villagers, I'll remove that dirt block and replace that rail when it's time. That's just there it's for safety so things can't get in. Um, but yeah, the, the cart can come this way. And depending on where I want it to go, if I want to take it sort of round to the other side of my base by sea, I'll bring it out this way and then put them into boats. Uh, whereas if I want to go um, sort of through the base, I'll bring them up here um, and then put them into a boat here and kind of row the boat here uh, out and down and off to where I need them. Um, I did have to remove the carpet here because the carpet was is a, um, a slight rise in height, which means I won't be able to sort of uh, move the boat over. And as you saw earlier, the villagers tend to like to wander around. So I didn't like my odds of getting the villager from here to the, over here to get them in the boat. So, but I think that looks all right. Um, other than that, I've done a little bit of terraforming around the place just to kind of uh, make it all look a little better. Uh, with a bit of lighting up with pumpkins and the like. Uh, but yeah, it's all coming together. Um, but I think that's bringing us to the end of this episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, apologies, it took a little longer to come out. Um, the villages were certainly fun and it's, uh, it took a little longer to get those spawns happening. But I'm glad we did it in the end. Um, I'm super keen to start um, seeing what we can do. Um, I think next on the list is definitely an iron farm. It would be good to get that up and running and ticking over. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like, and if you uh, want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell so you know when the next one comes out. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Mithril out. See ya.